Sometimes it's best to keep quiet. Sometimes you can say what you like and as loudly as you like. Sometimes the right word at the right time can make a huge difference. Which is your experience, I wonder, when it comes to talking about Jesus? The third of the seven corporate disciplines is the discipline of seed sowing. Bishop Stephen Croft writes, this is the habit and practice of sowing the seed of the gospel in the lives of those who have not yet heard its life-giving message. Now mission in a parish setting takes many and various forms. We heed Jesus' call for us to be salt and light and strive to be purveyors of goodness and truth and beauty and grace in our local communities. We read Jesus' manifesto in Luke chapter 4 to free those locked in prisons, to open the eyes of those whose sight has been darkened, to bind up those broken in pieces and seek to implement that vision and mission locally. We are much better at community serving mission than once we were. So food banks proliferate and debt counselling services spring up and the street pastors go into the night to put their arms around the drunk and dazed. And all this is excellent, it's good stuff. And yet, though actions are said to speak louder than words, what we do needs to be backed up by what we say. We may speak readily enough with our friends and colleagues about the church services and the church activities that we're involved in. We may even be bold enough to say that we have a faith, but we tend to be less certain about having the name of Jesus openly on our lips in public. Now there are two essential strands to the corporate discipline of seed sowing. The first is for every member of a local church to be able to say why Jesus matters to them. This is not a personal testimony in that sense of, I used to be a bad person, then I'm at Jesus, and now I'm a good person. Not that sort of thing. Nor is it a comprehensive encyclopedic answer to the question of who Jesus is. But it is the one thing that most impresses us about Jesus. What is it that makes Jesus so important to us? and be able to say that. For me, it's the way that individuals who other people wouldn't even notice or touch with a barge pole were given dignity and purpose and value in Jesus' world. The stunning difference that Jesus made to the lives of ordinary men and women, to Zacchaeus, to Peter, to the woman at the well and so many others. So let's practice saying why Jesus matters so much to us and then we'll have more confidence to steer conversation in a Jesus direction when the occasion presents itself. The second strand is about knowing how to give people who are not yet Christians the opportunity to take a step towards Jesus for themselves. There are midwifery skills for all of us to learn here. It's about sensing when you're with someone who is showing an, ins an inquiring spirit. It's about learning to escort people in the direction and then over the threshold of placing their faith in Jesus and their trust in him. It's about inviting them sensitively and appropriately to give their lives to Jesus in return for the life in capitals that he offers to them. Now the discipline of seed sowing is often left in the hands of specialists and professionals. We usually refer to them as evangelists. But it is much healthier to think of seed sowing as another every member ministry, a corporate discipline for the whole church, not just the few. The gospel is much more likely to be gossiped in far more places if we are all trained in the discipline of seed bearing and seed sowing. <laughs>